Good morning. My name is Valery Prushinsky. In my videos I'll tell about inventions and patents of modern companies. I am three specialists. Recently articles about one of my patents were published in Digital Trends, Forbes, Let's Go Digital and some other digital publishers. The links are behind me right now. I made this invention by using trees tools. So, what is trees? Trees is theory of inventive problem solving. This is science. Science that in process of development for more than 60 years. The founders of this science have decided to find strong patents, study them, reveal powerful inventive principles and trends inside this invention and then share. Teach everyone how to invent. That's why I decided to make these short videos where I will talk about modern companies, their patents in field of Internet of Things, smart homes, smartphones, even new space technologies and of course about trees tools that could be utilized in these inventions from my personal point of view. And we begin with quiz about one of these modern companies. Now, when you can see floating pop-up question in the right corner of the screen, you can click or touch it and select your correct answer. So, what is the name of this company? When this company developed its first application, it was developed both for Google Glasses and for smartphones. The application analyzed user's location and proposed to visit popular places located nearby, ranging from the restaurant to museum and other local attractions. By May 2013, this application was available in 80 countries with support of 30 languages. Guess what is the name of this company? Ok, let's talk about some of the patents. These are two patents. Patent 9782668, placement of virtual elements in virtual world associated with the location-based parallel reality game. And second patent, patent 9669296, linking real-world activities with the parallel reality game. Ok, please, no panic, don't worry, we will try to talk about this parallel reality thing on very basic level. So, let's take a look on this picture from this patent. This is real world, depicted at the bottom. These little humans are the users, users on the map of the real world. And now on top of this picture of virtual world we have the parallel reality. So this is gaming reality. The map of the gaming reality is identical to the map of the real world. But hidden virtual elements are overlaid on the real world. So this way Gamers can walk in real world and watch the parallel reality on the screens of their mobile phones because this is, there is a gaming server and this gaming server is augmenting reality by gaming elements right on the smartphone screen of the player. So virtual elements of the game are linked with the real places or objects. For example, the game can guide gamer to the park, visit exhibition, even museum where the player can collect or catch some valuable virtual elements and reach high level in the game. Now I'm going to give you another hint about this game. Originally this game was created in 1995 but recently became popular again after development of the augmented reality AR version for the smartphone. As a child, game designers that created this game enjoyed insect collecting as a hobby and was inspired by this hobby 
and kind of transferred this knowledge into the development of his game. In process of creation of this particular game, his company nearly went bankrupted and five employees left the company, but game designer continued working on and on without any salary. Does it ring a bell? No? Okay, let's go back to inventive principle. Probably you have already guessed which principle was utilized here. And I think you can easily select correct answer from the list below. So, which principle is utilized here? It's separation, combining, setting border or attracting. Did you have a right guess? No? Okay, I suggest you to select combining principle because we can clearly see that inventors have combined virtual and real world. And by the way, there are no such principles like setting, border and attracting. There are additional illustrations of smartphone display. Explaining that in order to catch some virtual object, gamers must to collect something. For example, game can be arranged so that something like this can attract or immobilize virtual object while giving to the gamer a chance and power to catch it. So here I should tell that patent illustrations can be really different from existing gaming applications. That is why it is still hard to understand which game we are discussing here. But I am sure that most of you have read an articles and maybe even seen TV news or funny videos about this huge, hugely popular game during its heyday. Or maybe you can have seen people playing this game. And as we already discussed, gaming elements of the virtual world can be located in various buildings, museums, exhibitions, or even outside near local sightseeing places of the real world, so that they create an illusion that real world has a hidden dimension and gamers can interact with it. Except it, the patent have proposed introduction of commercial elements into the game. For example, inventors considered that purchasing of some articles or services in real world can be linked with increasing of the power or discovering hidden features of the game or new gaming objectives or totally different other objects valuable in gaming world. And according to another interesting idea, coupons, vouchers or discounts useful in real world can be distributed in parallel reality. They even propose that commercial sponsors or business owners can pay to request for placement of some objects of the parallel gaming reality near or inside of their businesses. This way, when big number of the gamers will visit their business object, they, there, uh, there is a big probability that they will buy something and sales of the real object, real coffee shop, store or other commercial entity will grow up. To cut this long story short, this company have introduced new mobile game based on augmented reality, encouraging physical activity and helping to grow local businesses. The game reached 500 million downloads at the end of 2016. And in May 2018, the game had 147 millions of active users. In December 2018, the game has reached over 3 billion in worldwide revenue. But, unfortunately, there are some problems 
in combining of real world and parallel reality world. For example, that's good that the games in parallel reality increase and encourage physical activity and force gamers or invite gamers to go out of the apart apartments, but what if the game in parallel reality coincided with the real map will send the gamers to dangerous zone, for example, into traffic jams or simply into criminal districts of the city. Interesting approach was proposed for a solution of this contradiction. If the gamers agreed for utilization of the location data, game server can control placement of the virtual gaming elements in real life. For example, if there are too many gamers in some locations, or, according to the calendar, there will be mass sport event or conference in this location. Gaming elements can be placed further away from this location. Same way, because game server can predict travel path of the individual gamer or player, it is possible to eliminate placement of virtual elements and appearing of the gamers in traffic jam areas or simply around private property. This way, it looks like inventors applied resolution of contradiction in space. And vice versa, if the gaming server has a weather forecast, for example, the gaming objects can be placed in closed spaces in case of the bad weather and outside in case of the good weather so that it will stimulate gamers to walk outside. I think that from Tree's point of view, here we can see applying of the matching trend. We see the matching with the weather condition, with the calendar events, with the location of the dangerous objects in dangerous zones and even with the temporary traffic jams. So, for people who are still guessing, we are talking about Niantic and its game Pokemon Go. And it looks like strong inventive principles can still be found in patents of modern companies. So, learn trees. Apply it in your interest, file strong patents and increase capitalization of your companies. And if you like this video, please don't forget to click like and subscribe. Next time we will start with a quiz about another modern company. Last year this company was acquired for one billion dollar. After acquisition, price of its main product was reduced twice. This main product of the company is installed on entrance door or nearby this door. Still guessing? We'll talk more about it next time. Thanks for watching and see you next week. And please, don't forget to subscribe if you like our video.